Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks for You, and welcome back to my kitchen. I have such a good treat for you. It's a French toast strata. You make it the night before, so it works so good for the holiday season because, you know, when it comes to Christmas morning, you really don't want to be making something big for breakfast, but you want to eat something big for breakfast, right? So this works perfect. And along with the French toast strata, you'll learn how to make a super yummy apple cider syrup to go with it. I got this recipe way back in like 2005 from my Aunt Becky. So shout out to you Aunt Becky and thank you so much for this super tasty recipe that I make every holiday season. Our ingredients are really simple here. We are going to start with eight eggs in a bowl. So we're going to whip those up. It's so nice that this is in the fridge overnight or you can make it in the morning and serve it for dinner and have brinner, which my husband likes to have breakfast for dinner, henceforth brinner. All right, to this, we are gonna add one cup of milk, whole milk, but I didn't have whole milk, I had 2%. And I'm okay with that. One cup of milk, put that in there. Six tablespoons of melted butter. That goes in. And then we have a quarter cup of syrup. Now, I am a 100% pure maple syrup user. I do not use that fake stuff. Uh, real maple syrup has so much more flavor, so you don't have to use as much. All right, so here's our mixture. Got that all done. Next, we have a greased 9 by 13 pan, and I have already cubed one 12 ounce loaf of French bread. That's your normal long one, not those little ones. You want a long French bread. And this is 12 ounces. And we're gonna put half of it in our dish. That looks like about half. And then we have one, I believe this is eight ounce thing of cream cheese, the whole brick. And we are gonna cube this and put it in our dish. And you know, this isn't science here, guys, of, of measuring genius. Just, in fact, it's, you know, kind of hard to even cube um, cream cheese. If you want to use your hands, go for it. You just don't tell anyone. Seems like a lot of cream cheese, and it is. This is a decadent, delicious, special occasion strata. Next, we're just going to put the rest of our bread on top. Just kind of make sure it's evenly distributed. You can push it down a bit if you Even, want. You're going to pour your egg mixture evenly over your delicious cream cheese and bread. Oh my goodness, this is so tasty looking. It's going to knock your family socks off. That was it. Super simple, huh? Now we're ready to go in the fridge overnight or let it sit eight hours during the day. If you're gonna have it for brinner like I am. And now it's on to our apple cider syrup. Oh my gosh, this really makes it. Do not do this recipe without the apple cider syrup. And if you cannot find fresh apple cider, a lot of times over by the hot cocos and, and or breakfast items, there's like packages of apple cider, like hot apple cider packages like hot cocoa comes in those packages. So check it out over there. I think they're made by a company called Alpine. So check that out and maybe you can get those if you cannot find fresh apple cider. On to our apple cider syrup. We are going to put three tablespoons of flour and one teaspoon of salt in our pan, one cup of sugar, two tablespoons of, you know, the recipe says fresh squeezed lemon juice. To this mixture, we're going to put two cups of apple cider. Oh, it's going to be so good. And we're going to put this on the stove and bring it up to a boil. And then we're going to let it boil for one minute. And then we're going to take it off the stove and add a quarter of a cup of butter and just stir it in. Now you can make this also the night before and then reheat it the next day. It is reheatable. So you can do that. And if you think, oh, it's a little too thick, add a little more butter to it. 
Um, you could add a little more water or water or apple cider uh, too, but you know, why not make it a little richer, right? <laughs> so let's get this on the stove. You want to just stir this. I actually have a few flour lumps. I should have mixed my flour in a little better with the lemon juice. But see how they're coming out? This is a great whisk, guys. I like it for cooking better than um, a regular whisk that's rounded because I can get on the bottom. So see, all my lumps are gone. We're good to go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got to boil now. I'm going to turn it down just a little. And we're going to let it cook for one minute. I'm going to turn on my timer. I want to stir this for one minute. All right, our minute is up. Time to add our butter and stir that in. So you can let this cool and then reheat it when you're ready to bake off your strata or you can do this right when the strata is just about done to come out of the oven. That is up to you. Beautiful. Ah, oh, you guys are going to love this. All right, it's been eight hours. My casserole's done, and we're going to pull it out. Okay, you can see it's not the most beautiful of things in the world, but once we scoop it up and put the apple cider syrup on it, it's going to be amazing, and I have a guest to try it. His name is Mark, and you guys are going to love him. You see all that deliciousness in there? Yeah. OMG, do you hear Mark? He's like oohing and on. You, the tops get crispy. We're going to drizzle some of our apple cider sauce. I almost said apple cider vinegar. Our apple cider sauce. Put that on here. Oh man. Mark's going to love me. This is Mark. He's trying this for me. Okay, did you get some apple cider in there? Or apple? Is it too hot? <laughs> Okay, he's out of the scene. <laughs> He'll be back in the scene. Let me try. It's good. Good. Is it good? <laughs> oh, that is hot. Oh, man. Are you dying? Can you come back in the scene? <laughs> okay, now blow on it this time and try it again. This is my buddy, Mark. Mine and my husband's buddy Mark blow on it. Make sure it's good to go. You know, it's it's nice because you don't expect apple cider for your syrup. You expect maple syrup, and that's what's super tasty. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks for You. I hope you have a Merry Christmas. Peace out.